I think my favorite part about that entire situation is kind of the fact that I don't think I'd react just the way Shu did. It's like, whoa, whoa, dude, where is this coming from? Why? Whoa. <laughs> I think, whoa, we've got other things to do right now. Do we have to talk about this? Either way, if you want my personal opinion on the whole escapade, and I'm not entirely sure why you would, but seeing as how the game has made it clear that it's something resembling that of much of a plot point, I honestly think Shu just respects Kluke and or admires her resilience and the situation that she's been, you know, you know, in. Jiro's got, you know, genuine affection. I think Shu just is, you know, pissed off that, you know, my friend just got took off by a giant robot. It kind of bums me out. So, there you go. Shu's just saying, hey, whoa, you go and do your thing, Jiro. I'm just, I just like hitting stuff. Whoa. Also, real convenient that Sola and Marumaru were just somewhere else. Uh, fun times. It's glowing. What's glowing? Oh. That looks to be the back of the Elder's house. Something's fishy. Why, I'm willing to it. Wait, apparently I'm... Okay, apparently I'm Jiro now. Alright, sure. <laughs> Maybe the Elder was Nenails all along. Or a robot. A robot's made of evil and he's the one maintaining the barrier because something's got to be generating this thing. I'm gonna figure it out. Well, this door doesn't look suspicious. It's like a rock door and won't budge. Man, if only we could summon giant mythical beasts out of our back to smash this wall down to find out what's up. But I guess we'll have to find a more legitimate means. The Elder is very particular about the vase in his room. He won't even let me touch it when I clean the room. Well, thanks for giving me the exact information I needed in order to progress with the story. Go friggin' figure. Maids, man, never trust them. They'll always say the worst possible thing at the worst possible second. She can't keep secrets even when she doesn't know the secrets that are being kept. Alright, that looks like a vase. What is up on it? Whoa! This is an interesting setup. Is this an ancient machine? No, it's a modern machine. Sure, why not? Alright, well, let's start fiddling with some switches. Yep! This can only do good things. You can hear a door opening somewhere. I wonder if it was that mysterious rock-like thing that I saw that I couldn't get through. It's a possibility! Well, alright, let's go investigate what this elder is hiding. Get my mind off this whole awkward relationship nonsense. Accusations! Where are you, old man? I wish to accuse you of nefarious acts. I know that you are maintaining the barrier above the sky. Torturing those who truly deserve it, because seriously, everyone in this town has been a total AWOD. Playable. Okay, that was an entirely unnecessary cutscene, but I guess it was a very lovely tree, is what I was apparently looking at there. Not sure. Oh, it's you. What is this place? Weird picture! Hey, old man, did you paint it? This painting is said to portray the final days of our ancient ancestors. It's a family heirloom. Oh! What's that one? Actually, there's an old legend about that creature up there. Oh. The ancients created and raised a beast to end the long war. Peacefully. But the beast devoured the war and the powers of magic and created devastation for the people. The burning moon in the sky was used to seal away the beast. The inferno and terror signaled the end of the ancients. Maru, don't get it! All this because they tried to quell power with more power. And in the end, time may try to return all that is created back to nothing. Oh. What's this? Don't touch that! Shooting 
lasers at us? What is this thing? Excuse me, but is this mechanism able to control those moons? Hmm, it would seem so. You never tried it? Maybe we could use it somehow. You mean, use those moon lasers. But this looks like it's broken! Yeah, he's right. A piece of the mechanism is missing. That's Nene's doing. Nene? He dropped the part into this shaft and told us to find it and figure out how to use the machine ourselves. I don't understand why Nene messes around with people like that. So basically, what I'm being told, and I'm taking my glasses off to enunciate the thing that I'm about to say, is that Nene showed up, cast a barrier around your town, pulled an object out of another mysterious object, which, by the way, you've apparently never touched in your entire life. I find that a little hard to believe, good sir. I feel like somebody, at some point, really might have accidentally bopped one of them buttons and launched a missile somewhere. Just saying it seems a little unlikely. Nextly, he threw it down a shaft and said, If you don't like the barrier, go find the piece and fix it. And then nobody did? He caused a problem for you and then told you how you could fix it and never bothered. If there isn't a 15, like a 15,000 foot hydra with 30,000 heads that all breathe sulfuric acid down there guarding that chunk of, uh, that chunk of metal, you are by far, without a doubt, some of the stupidest people I have ever seen in a video game. Oh my god. Seriously, if I could somehow fix this without helping you, I would. It's very dangerous. We'll be fine. We'll go get the part, then we'll fix the machine and destroy the sky barrier. Be careful, my young friends. Oh, so now we're friends. Yeah, okay, sure. When you have the vague promise of having somebody else do everything for you. Come on, man, I'm lazy, but even I wouldn't be this lazy. Lord, if you've been trapped in here for years, and there are monsters down here, I'm assuming there is, learn how to use a sort I don't know, fashion something. You have moon lasers. You could do something. Anything. Learn how to fight. Do something. Devise something. You have plenty of room to do this stuff. Hey, look. Valuable machinery that you can reach. There are no monsters here. Dismantle this. Use the piston as a blunt object to bash robot head in. This is not a hard to solve problem. Also, apparently Nene did far more than just throw the piece down the shaft. Otherwise, we would have seen it already. Oh, hey, look. It's a jellyfish thing. Because, okay. Let's see what this horrifying monstrosity that's keeping all the people from getting their their lives back is really everything it's cracked up to be. Let's see if I can defeat it in less than three moves. Oh, hey, I totally can. Go figure. Yes, I do have magical monsters for shadows. They do, in fact, make me quite the deal stronger than the average folk. But come on. The Blade Masters in Gibraltar make it plain and obvious that people who know what they're doing can easily beat monsters like this. Otherwise, humanity would be extinct in this universe. People fought off these things before magic showed up again. Because magic hasn't been around for a very, very long time. And now it's ghost crabs. Goblin crab. Okay, what exactly makes these goblins? They're far more crab-like in the fact that they are, like, lobsters. Can I just... Perhaps... Never mind. All right, fine. I wanted to attack both at the same time. Save us some time. But apparently the game isn't going to let me do that. And even though he attacked me and took initiative, I somehow engage a surprise attack? Sometimes, game. You'll make no sense. You'll make no sense. I would just like to say for the record that despite all of the guff I'm giving this game in its current situation in the story, 
I still thoroughly enjoy this game and consider it worth playing, so don't even think for the briefest of moments that th how ridiculously stupid this situation is deters from it an otherwise pretty dang good game and generally a good experience. Now, back to the anger. Ugh, okay. Let's see, I guess we're gonna walk on over here and there's a treasure chest. I wonder if something's in it that could help you beat all these monsters up. Level 5 Flaris! Alright, fine. Credit where credit is due, you wouldn't be able to use that. Unfortunately, neither can I, because Kluke is gone, and I don't have another black mage, and I can't train until I get out of this place. So that's all in all just downright terrible. Okay. Well, I've explored a, a weird, mysterious factory before, and if I've learned anything, it's stand on top of conveyor belts. They'll get you where you need to go. Makes me wonder how other people traversed these areas long ago. Can I attack all three of- oh, wait, no, never mind, I'm- uh, uh, stunt! Damn jellyfish fools! You think you can make a fool of me? A mockery? You think you can make a- a Colin mockery out of me? Nay. Nay, I say. Although you are breathing fire, apparently. Wait. You eat fire? Okay. That's weird. It's all right, sure. Apparently, he cast fire magic on himself to make himself stronger, apparently. And I guess they can charge themselves up to do even more damage? Well, I don't know nothing about any of that, but I am going to try and kill them. You know, by doing this. Ah, it looks like you won't get a chance to do whatever that was. Oh, he's doing Flara. He's gonna do Flare Flare. He's gonna get himself stronger, and assuming that it's proportional to the same amount of power that it got last time, it's only gonna be up to 80% charge, which gives me ample time to fight back. Which means, yeah, you didn't get to do anything. Admirable attempt, I suppose, but uh, you might want to try to avoid getting hit in the face if you wanted to pull that sort of thing off. Just saying. All right, well, I have no time to muck about with these other jelly jellyfish. I know all of their tricks and traps and they ain't no threat. Killing them ain't gonna solve any problems. Also, despite what I said in my hasty rage, I would like to state for the fact that I would not leave any town to be trapped under a jello barrier forever. I would help anybody given any circumstance, because I like to think I'm a good person. Whether or not I am is completely up to debate to anybody who knows me or thinks they knows me. Either way, skeletons! Okay, let's smack some skeletons upside the face. What are they gonna do? Devour soul. Well, that's an ominous sounding attack. I can only assume you drained some of his magic ability. How is devouring someone's soul give them less MP exactly? That makes no sense. All right, well, let's just charge things up. Full power, why don't we? Let's just go whole ham on this thing. Just do a quick old mow down, and we'll do a charge up mow down. I'll give, you know what you guys want? I'll give you guys the benefit of the doubt. Just go ahead, go crazy, go nuts. Do all of your super special amazing attacks. I'll give you all the time in the world, and if you somehow can't do something impressive by the time I've killed all of you, well, that says a lot more about you than it does me. Yep, he's just casting more magics. Just casting all my magic spells. Don't mind me, I'm just a little old jellyfish with a magic rod up my butt. Ugh. You and your weird jellyfish ways. Oh, he's charging. He's charging his Malay. He's in charge of Malaysia. That's unfortunate. All right, and he's doing even more charging. Fantastic. But what happens when Jiro does this? That's what we all came here to see. How'd I only kill one of them? Well, that just don't make no sense. Well, all right, fine. Looks like this Miss Miss Your Jellyfish gets the opportunity to charge themselves up to full power. Let's see what this grand experiment that takes three solid turns without dying accomplishes. It better be a quite the amazing ability. 120% charged. All right. I'm unimpressed. Just saying. Apparently, you need four, four turns, three to charge up, and one to actually use it. 
Look, unless you have some ironclad defenses, that's just not gonna work. What was this anyway? You switched to the, 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 the other location. All right, well then hang on, click it back again. So whatever I did, I did what I needed to do. All right, so let's get on this thing. And apparently I switched up a conveyor belt somewhere. All righty, sure. Let's see, I guess I just need to find another conveyor belt and allegedly it'll get me to a place other than where I need, where I need, or where I was, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'm going the right way. No, wait, nope, I'm seeing more jellyfish again. Ain't having this. Nope, 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 just moving on. Ain't having it. Move over, bucket of parts. Okay, it's clearly a, ba a box, not a bucket. Not sure why I said that. All right, fine. And that is not the conveyor belt of which I wish to travel upon. I shall wait patiently. I will wait my turn. And now I guess we're looking for a different conveyor belt that I apparently switched up upon. That's all well and good. Uh, whoop, okay. Suddenly, goblin crab. That a friggin' nowhere goblin crab. Sure. All right, well, luckily they have the defensive properties of wet toilet paper, so this really shouldn't be too much of a problem. They casually smack at me as if I were some form of bug, when I very clearly am not. I mean, I don't know what Maro is, but he's clearly mammalian. All right, oh, look at you being all slightly charged up and full of pump and vigor. It almost makes it a somewhat of a shame, the fact that I'm inevitably going to destroy you before you get a chance to do anything. This place isn't that big. Does this jellyfish not have observational skills? I feel as if it might have caught a glimpse of the other members of his species attempting to do this exact same thing. And he might also take note of the fact that it doesn't work. Seriously, man. Oh, 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 he's doing something. He's actually using his attack. Okay. Was that it? You just supercharged your normal attack? I mean, good job, I guess. It didn't kill me, though. At best, it would have only knocked out Shu, and the other three would have been able to take care of you without any problem. Jellyfish, man, it's almost like they don't have a brain. I'm assuming they don't. Otherwise, my joke kind of falls flat. Either way, ultra superpower medicine action time monkey hyper force go. All right. Well, uh, apparently, I have no idea what I'm doing. As if that were a surprise to anybody. All right, well, I'll just keep stumbling my way around this place, and eventually I'll figure out what it is I'm supposed to do. Open up some treasure chests. Get ambushed by a skeleton, who I guess lives in there? All right, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trespass on your home. I had no idea this was your home. You gave me no indication, perhaps you should put up a little sign outside that says, do not disturb, skeleton taking a nap. I mean, I'm just, I'm just giving you a, some food for thought. I'm just giving you some ideas that, you know, you might want to Give a chance, just spitballing some some possible alternatives to prevent this from happening in the future. I mean, you never know. Of course, of course, we as we all know. It's never that easy. It's going to it's going to be escalated into a much significantly more unnecessary accolade, I shall say. I mean, we, we merely wanted the treasure that was inside the chest. I admit, it did not rightfully belong to us. But no one was using it, and we had every reason to assume it was being... If it were to be used, it would be used by nefarious creatures. So, you know, we could have simply... You could have simply said, hey, bro, what's inside this chest? This is mine. This is my belonging. Please do not take it. And while perhaps an evil person would say, well, shame to be you, and defeat you nonetheless, had you merely said that you did not wish for me to take what is yours, I would have let you go. But no! I slightly inconvenience you, which means we must now fight to the death! Which, of course, ends in your death, or re-death. I mean, you're a skeleton, so I don't even. All right, well, I changed the conveyor belt somewhere, and this is the only other conveyor belt I can find, so I'm going to assume that this is the conveyor belt that I switched the positioning to, and it will get me to a place. 
probably should have opened up that treasure chest. Ah, uh, well, can't change the past. Moving on. Sometimes you just gotta keep taking a step forward and figuring stuff out for yourself. I'm just saying. You gotta, you gotta let the past be the past and move on. All right. So what, did Nene solve all these weird conveyor belt puzzles? Just to put this stuff in a, well actually I guess he could fly, he has a hover chair. Then again, I don't really see anything stopping us from, oh say, going to the end of the wrong turning conveyor belt, climb on top of it, and then step over it. I don't really know why we had to go through all those other conveyor belts and switch the positioning just so it could casually bring us over. As if we were on the Jetsons! The Jetsons! Why was everything a conveyor belt? Why were people in the future so lazy? Every day George Jetson came home and was like, Oh, Jane! It was the worst. I had to push a button multiple times. My finger is tired. You lazy good-for-nothing. Do you not have history books? Do you not remember all of the horrible labor that people had to go through to give you the cushy lifestyle that you're currently having? No, George Jetson, apparently not, because you're a bad person. And another thing about the Jetsons, I lost control of my connection. Doesn't even matter. I'm currently in a rant right now. Another thing about the Jetsons. George and Jay Jetson, she was dead. Terribly sorry. George and Jay Jetson, they both have red hair. This is fact. I suppose one of them could be dying it, but it also seems unlikely. Unless they're both dying it, you might be wondering. Well, that doesn't seem too strange. I mean, anybody could have different hair, you know, hair colors. That's just different. whatever. But no. Why do their only two children have white and blonde hair? Genetically, that makes no sense. Well, then you might say, well, Max, a few traits, maybe they inherited from their grandparents. Not true. We've seen their grandparents. We've seen their grandparents even younger. So you know what? No, they were also redheads. Hanna-Barbera, I am calling you out. Yeah, I'm aware you're both. Apparently, Shu is doing, Shu, why are you awful? Hanna-Barbera are dead. Pioneers of, of animation, giving so many people their childhood, you got a thing wrong that involves genetics. Anyway, does anybody remember how I got to this point? I don't. I honestly don't remember how this this whole tirade started. Um, I guess we'll move on with our lives. Uh, apologies? For the stupid, I guess? I don't know. Alright, so I guess at some point, Shu was given the panic status ailment and mowed down everybody? Not entirely sure how that works. Not saying I care either. I'm busy beating up Skeletons. Alright, oh, he's gonna do something. He's gonna do something. He's using his multi slash. Oh, diggle, diggle, dangle, dang. Why did your standard attack do more damage? That's what I want to know, Mr. Skeleton. That, like, one of them, like, did an attack that did, like, 300 points of damage. How come they aren't doing that anymore? Was it some form of ruse? A clever charlatan ruse? Well, if it was a ruse, you're dead now. So I didn't think it was funny. Thinking you're a Houdini. There's some other famous magician. Copperfield. Blaine. Um. That one guy who was popular for a while to but is long since stopped being relevant. Chris Angel, that guy, him. Yeah, he was a magician, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. More like a weird guy that liked to mess around with people on the street. Anyway, I think I've gone off on a few tangents today and I don't think I really need to go on anymore, but at the same time, I can't promise it's not gonna happen again. That being said, I'm seeing a gigantic wide open area. Me guts are telling me that something is about to go down. Oh, hey, checkpoint. Time for a bottle. Are we going to at least get the awesome music? I miss it. I feel like it's been forever since we've had it. What? He's a machine, but with a skull? Like, even the characters at this point are like, well, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> like, what is this thing doing down here? 
Who made a robotic Grim Reaper? It's, a, it's not even really a Grim Reaper. It's more of like a robot Grim Reaper spider. It's hard, but breakable. Well, then I guess we're going to start wailing on that helmet. Image of weakness. Good, sir. I don't think you have your terminology correct. Oh, you canceled out our... Oh, you can cancel me out of my charge state. Okay. Okay, Mr. Skeletal Mang. Mr. Skeletal If that is your true name, and it's not, in fact, you should probably learn what your name is. You are a Scything Skull Spider. That's some pretty good alliteration. I ain't even gonna hate on that. Does attacking the body do more damage? It does. Interesting. However, was that... Nope, that was not a counter. Interesting. What exactly is the benefit of busting open this guy's skull case? Exactly. I imagine maybe attacking the skull does a little bit more damage. If that's the case, that is a very interesting design choice, I must say. Uh, I feel as if that uh, might be a bit of a design flaw, actually. Why would you give your death robot here thing, your scything skull spider, such an obvious weakness? These are the things I wish to know. Oh, oh, oh. Grand Emerald. Wind damage out the Wizango. All right, that didn't do nearly enough. Let's do it again. Super califragilistic Expiala fire damage. Still nothing. All right, I'm going to keep throwing things at you. I ain't having none of this anymore. I have gone. I have been pushed to the limits of my sanity. You guys down? You guys are down. You're dead. You're dead, son. I killed you. And I punched you in your skull case. All right. Zola said it was apparently extraordinarily hard, but also extraordinarily, whoop, at the count of four, you die. Well, ain't that a big old bummer? Okay, well, I suppose it's a good thing that we have the ability to revive Shu, I guess. All right, um, is there any way to stop it? Or is it just, or is he just laughing? It's like, ha ha. I put, I just, I just use Destiny Bond, except, no, it's like Paris Song, except it doesn't even work on him. Why does this game keep making me reference Pokemon? I don't even know if wailing on this dude's skull is even worth the time. Okay, like, do I smack, I mean, there's gotta be a point to this. There's gotta be a reason that I should be doing this. I'm going to keep hitting that guy's skull until something happens. I was promised an event. All right, well, Shu is close to meeting his untimely demise. Unfortunate, but I'll bring him back as soon as I possibly can. So just, uh, I guess I just keep on trucking. Keep on being Shu, I guess. Let's see. I suppose I have any other items up in here. I am pretty much used everything worth using. I'm just kind of got a bunch of Mindless nonsense at this point. Also, apparently he can still attack. He's got the image of weakness going on here. Oh, he canceled Jiro's attack. What a butt. Okay. I'm getting significantly far too wild up in this episode. I should probably do a little more breathing. Uh, things are not nearly as bizarre as I'm making them out to be. Blew it up. I knew it would do something eventually. Pretty awesome that that's what Shu just did before he inevitably... Why did you use that at... Oh, actually, no, he was trying to use it on Jiro. Yeah, at the count of four, you will die, but... Wow, that's actually phenomenally good that I gave Shu that ability. Now I'll just absorb all of those attacks. That way, only one of my characters is forced to constantly die over and over and over again. Anyway, let's smack him on his big stupid head. Oh, look at all the damage. It's... Its head looks like an undead or something. Huh. Well, ain't that about something. Hang on. Let me just see something really quick. Okay, I can't use healing magic. Some RP to let you do that. Okay. I'm not sure. Let's let's see if this does anything worth doing. He's an undead, right? I mean, they're susceptible to this sort of thing. All right. I like that this battle music pretty much fits any potential situation you could ever find yourself in. All right. Well, I've... Very well smack a dude his face all about. Okay, guess I'll just... One quick more boppo boppo, and then Shu will fall down dead. I, okay, I guess not. I guess we're going to wait until after his turn. That's when it can... There it is. Blop. 
It's okay, Shu, don't worry, we'll bring it back. He already wasted his turn using his stupid side. Apparently, I forgot Jiro could even counter. Considering Shu takes up all of the attacks nowadays, I should probably switch that out with something that's going to see more use. Just an idea, Brain. You might want to think about that. I know, I know me and you have our differences, Brain, but sometimes, sometimes we got to learn to just work together, you know? All right, now let's just keep smack a doing Bapo! Smack him in the skull long enough, it's gonna, something's down there, something up there is gonna break. What you gonna do? Image of defeat! Is that the thing? Are you gonna use it on Shu again? Yeah, you is. Ah, oh, look, the counter's already on Shu's head, so now it's not even ambiguous on whether or not it misses or not. Bummer! Can we defeat him in time? Oh, probably not. We'll find out soon enough. Image of chaos! Boogity, 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 boo! Are you scared? I am a skeleton inside of a thing! Whoa, ain't that spooky dookie? Spooky dookie indeed. Spooky dookie indeed. That being said, for a mental note, Jiro, use your time. Mind slash! And anything like a mind crush? No. In fact, it's kind of worthless. Good to know. Alright, anyway, my, uh, I. Whoa, that takes a lot of dang magic. <laughs> Holy crug cakes! Alright, no, I don't want to use heal. I want to use a zither. Yes, I would like to use the zither move if it's not too much trouble. I am not sure why I just became French. Either way, healing time! Anyone else notice that the, uh, Jiro's Minotaur seems to have some malnourishment problems? see his ribs. Like, dude should probably, like, you know, you know eat, eat like a, a sandwich. Either way, Maru Maru's attack has been halted. What a butt. Supposed to didn't really mean much. I mean, it ultimately got exactly what I needed done, done, so. Ain't that a big old pile of awesome. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. I'm gonna smack, smack you. Gonna get a critical as a death. It's instant death. You're so pathetic. That's how it rolls. All right, fantastic. Things are looking good. Maybe I should put double item back on Jiro, because I'm starting to use them a lot more often. I just toss that out, and there we go. Like I said, character enemies in this game eventually all eventually end up with attacks that, like, kill everybody, or attack everybody all at once, so... Shu's ability to jump in front of stuff sometimes ain't so, ain't so useful. All right, so assuming he doesn't use his stupid herp derp derp up, yep, he's doing it. And attack canceled. Fantastic. It's almost like it's not even worth trying. All right, fine. You know what? Then fine. I'm not going to try. I'm just going to start smacking you around like a, with absolutely no remorse. How many times do you have to punch a guy in the skull before he decides, hey, maybe I should lay off? Oh, my goodness gracious. Golly gosh. Wow, right before she was going to die, too. So I guess the Ancients are the one that built all of this stuff? Because the Ancients were really freaking weird. Anyway, we got classes unlocked, ain't that about awesomeness? Okay, what are we gonna give? I guess... I don't know, at this point... I guess I'll give him some support magic? We'll give... Uh... Shu the Assassin? Maru, you get some, some barriers up in there? Zola learned Treasure Hunt? She is now a good person to find stuff. Got a green device. Well, there we go. Now we can deactivate green barriers. Okay, let's get back to the surface quick. Please teleport us. Please teleport us. Thank you, game. Fell over. All right. Oh, you made it back safely then. What about the part? Did you get it? He had a minor seizure there for a second. Yeah, we sure did. Everything went great. All we had to do was fight a Grim Reaper spider bot. All right. I'll give credit where credit is due. I guess nobody in this town would have been able to take care of that. Still, the fact that nobody ever at least tried is stupid. Ah, and let's attach it to the ancient machine right away. You know that thing I told you to never touch? Yeah, please, shove more technology in it and push more buttons. Ugh. There, that should do it. Move, moon! Oh, hey! <laughs> Wait, we haven't set the output yet. We could blow the town to smithereens. W would you just turn it off now? Relax, relax! <laughs> so 
So does the Blue Dragon universe just, like, did it always have that many moons? Because if I suddenly noticed that there was like eight of them, I'd ask some questions. Just saying. Sure are lucky it stopped when it did, other one otherwise everyone would be dead. Wow. That's great! See? Told you it was okay! Alright. Oh, at last! Let's go! Maro Maro, man. Always firing on all cylinders. Gotta admire that sort of energy. The sky is slightly less green. The sky! The wind feels great! Who said that? It's the magic users! Elder, the sky looks strange. Indeed, the ancient machine has destroyed the barrier that once blocked the sky. Really? You got that old machine to work? Yes, thanks to these folks here. Just like in the wars of the ancients. That may be true. But we did not use the machine's powers for the sake of destruction. What are you waiting for? Come on! The sky is the color of real sky! Yeah, that's right! We should be able to leave town now. Later, chumps! to you, Mom! I'm gonna go fall on sharp rocks like I said I was going to! It's pretty! It's, like, slightly less green. It's not that big of a difference, really. Honestly. Also, apparently that guy had been under this dome for so freaking long he forgot what the actual sky even looked like? Okay, well that confirms my suspicions that all of the children were originally not even born when that thing got up. Nothing about this town makes any sense. None of it will ever make sense. I choose to never cut return here, except I'm going to have to make use of its in over and over again. Because, theoretically... Oh my god, is that sperm hat man? You just keep on showing up. Even though I can go about past the barrier, my duty, my, my duty to mast my master has not changed. Alright, fine. Whatever, sperm hat man. Let's walk outside, see if any cutscenes trigger, because I don't want to accidentally do one of those off-screen. We'll do everything we can, and assuming everything is on the straight and narrow, we should, at long last, finally be good. And yes, it appears so. Also, why is the... Okay, maybe it's... Maybe it's because the dome was up, and therefore no snow was able to fall, but then why is no snow falling anymore? Shouldn't, when the barrier have gone down, immediately have some snow fall down? That doesn't make any- NOTHING IN THAT TOWN MAKES SENSE! I gotta take a break. I'll see you all next time. I hope you had a fantastic time. Join me next time as we begin our true search for Kluke. I'm gonna get some training in and I will see you all next time.